I'm in a very fortunate position that my job allows me to investigate some pretty interesting stuff. And today I'm going to quickly take you through our hydrogen journey, or at least the story so far. In February 2017, there was a heat wave, and during this heat wave, Ballarat came within minutes of losing power. And this um, close shave caused the city of Ballarat to initiate a systems-based review of our energy system. And one of the uh, recommendations from this review is that we put some further investigation into hydrogen, and in particular, what role hydrogen might play in energy storage in our region. This is my CEO's favourite slide. Sometimes when people hear a word, they associate it with an image. Um, for hydrogen, I think it's this image. What we've found out is that hydrogen is actually already used um, safely um, and in quite large quantities for industrial processes such as fertiliser production and also uh, steel production are a few examples. Over the last 12 months, we've spent a lot of time talking to industry and researchers and government about what is this opportunity that, of hydrogen? And we found out that currently a lot of hydrogen is being produced using gas. However, if we produce hydrogen using renewable energy, it can actually have a very low carbon emission or in some case zero carbon emissions. So for the city of Ballarat, our focus is on what opportunities can we find by producing hydrogen using renewable wind energy in particular and also recycled water? We've found out that excess wind and solar energy can be used to produce hydrogen using a process called water electrolysis. Now, the industry like to call this power to gas. We've also found out that hydrogen is an extremely energy dense gas and it's versatile. And I think it's this versatility is why it provides so many opportunities for decarbonisation of economies. So it can be used on demand. It can be stored indefinitely. It can be used in a fuel cell to produce heat, like natural gas. It can also provide power to industry and households. It can be used in fuel cell, fuel cell powered vehicles. And as I already mentioned, it is already used as an industrial feedstock. Hydrogen is not a completely new thing and our research has found out that there are actually already a lot of pilot projects going along globally and in Australia. And when we talk to industry and researchers, they're telling us that the technology is proven and that they're ready to have some projects demonstrate the technology at scale. One thing hydrogen can be used for is powering transport. And as the industry tells us, hydrogen fuel cell technologies are ready to go now, particularly in the case of passenger vehicles and hydrogen buses. Industry also tell us that it really has some um, good applications for replacing heavy vehicle use. And there's a lot of research that's being undertaken in California in particular in relation to hydrogen fuel cell trucks. And I, my understanding is that they're due to be rolled out within 18 months. Last year, also, Alstom, who have a presence here in Ballarat, premiered the world's first hydrogen-powered passenger trains in Lower Saxony in Germany. So we see hydrogen as a real opportunity for regions. And this view was reiterated um, by some issues papers that were released as part of the National Hydrogen Strategy in June this year. We believe that renewable hydrogen can offer a practical way for regional economies to achieve carbon emission reductions. They're an opportunity to drive innovation and skills development in regional economies. We see that our regions will become the home to businesses along the whole renewable energy supply chain and that existing industries will benefit from a reliable and low emissions energy source. This reliable and low energy emissions source will also benefit existing businesses in our region, as well as attracting new ones. The good thing about the renewable energy supply chain is that it will also require both skilled and unskilled jobs. The City of Ballarat has a very bold vision, and our bold vision is to be Australia's model hydrogen city. We have and will continue to lobby national and state governments and follow very closely the development of the national and state hydrogen strategies throughout the rest of this year. 
We've also engaged extensively with industry and we will continue to do so to investigate what are the applications that could really make sense for our region and how can we make those a reality. There are some critical factors. The success of at-scale hydrogen projects is really dependent on community acceptance, particularly in relation to safety and, environment and the environmental credentials of hydrogen. Also, large levels of investment, and in some cases, coordinated investment, is going to be required to move from these small pilot projects to larger at-scale projects. And this highlights the importance of the national and state strategies that are needed to provide a clear direction for industry development. Continued improvements in technology and also the scale of renewable energy is going to help facilitate the adoption of these hydrogen technologies because they're going to help reduce the costs of hydrogen and make it more competitive with energy sources. Thank you.